Hi friend, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting, and right now we are midway through September. If you're going to do a Christmas light display for this year, it is uh, time to get going if you haven't started already. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today I want to share another quick tip, just another way and kind of a, uh, a goal that I have for myself to make my Christmas light display the best that it can be. B. Okay. So when it comes to putting pixels on your house, the standard way that people put pixels on is they take uh, the standard bullet node pixels and they put them into strips, into uh, snowflakes, into all sorts of different shaped props to be able to then map them through X lights or another software onto their house. This is all well and good, but to be honest, uh, I, I, one thing that I have noticed as I continue to work with more pixels and really refine my display personally is that when I use more shapes of pixels, I actually get a more interesting display. I initially came to this thought process uh, when I was working on the Barn 3 in Goodfield, Illinois. Shout out to them. We'll put a quick video of it here. And uh, we put uh, some Minleon pixels, they're a commercial grade pixel. Uh, we put the, the pebbles and we also put the G40 bulbs, which is a large uh, 40 millimeter globe, okay? Similar to the ones that hide around me here. Similar to those balls, but uh, a little bit different. So I, I realized once I did that project and I saw it in real life, I said, well, wow, Having different shapes of pixels really makes your show more dynamic without adding a ton more lights. And so I just want to riff on that topic for a second today and think about why it could be a really good idea for you to add more and more different shapes. If you think about the old style Christmas lights, we had a lot of different options, right? We had these, these are pixels, but they are a, a C7, I think, C9, whatever, you know, a, a bulby type, large bulb Christmas light that really catches the light well. And in a typical display, one that looked really nice, you'd have the, the regular mini lights and you'd have these bulb type lights. You'd have a mix of the two and maybe some other lights as well. When it comes to pixels, a lot of people use all the same type of pixel. And it's really got me thinking, and as this hobby matures, something I see more is, you know, more different types of pixels, more different globes and bulbs and those balls that I showed you behind me. And I really think that, you know, if you add in more different shapes to your display, it generally makes things more dynamic. And that's also why I, I brought, I'm bringing moving lights into my display this year with uh, the Dominar beam, because ultimately uh, the more different textures, the more different like shapes and feel of bulbs that we can have in our Christmas light display, uh, the more interesting it looks to the eye. And therefore, therefore, this is the best part, the less stuff we need to make the same impact. So if you're interested, uh, this is really uh, it, piggybacking off last week's video. Check it out here if you didn't already, where we talked about uh, the different ways to get the most out of your, your display using dynamic range. And then uh, it's also really building on my video on what different shapes of pixels are there. So if you're interested in that, check that here. Um, as with that, uh, I'd love to know below if you were to add a different type, a different shape of pixel to your display, what would you add? Uh, what are you going to add or what do you have? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're brand new to Christmas lighting, I know this was a super short video, shorter than my average, but uh, hop over to learnchristmaslighting.com. I've got a free guide I want to get into your inbox and we will see you guys in our next video. I uh, hope you're getting started. hope you're having a great time getting started on your display for this year. And uh, we look forward to helping you throughout this year. Have a great day. Thanks.